Hey everyone, be poorly back for another video. Um, back for my third out and about Blu-ray hunt in whatever. In three days. God, I've got to cut down on this, otherwise people will think I've got no life. <laughs> so what are we doing today then? Well, first of all, it's 10 to 9 in the morning on an off day. Meaning I'm not working, not that I'm off. You know what I mean. Um, what am I doing up this time in the morning? Anyway, first things first, doctor's appointment or nurse's appointment to check up on my... Check up on my foot. Make sure everything's okay and that. And then I need to pop over to the post office because they dropped off a card the other day from a package from America, which we'll unbox a little bit later on. And then uh, Westwood Cross again. I think I've been to Westwood Cross about five times in about four days. Wow, I might as well just live down there. Yeah, I'll just go and live in Tesco's or something. Then I could be on the hunt for the big sleeves every day. Right, anyway, yeah, so we're going to go down and pick up another load of big sleeves. Um, six, I think. Yeah, something like that. Anyway, and then we'll go with the wind. Ooh. <laughs> uh, wherever we go, I don't know. I might pop to another Poundland or um, CEX. So anyway, I'm going to stop waffling and get in the doctor's appointment because otherwise I'll be late and they'll start charging me. Anyway, so I'll see you in a momento. So I don't know how many more times I'm going to be going to the doctors here to see the nurse to have it all dressed and everything. Um, a couple of days ago I got a card through the letterbox which was uh, for free prescriptions. So now I don't have to pay £8 something is for prescriptions. So I suppose this is all quick out the way of the cars. Uh, this is because I was diagnosed type 2 diabetic so uh, that might come in handy actually so anyway let's get round to the doctors there and see how things are today not a good sign not a good sign outside the doctors hope it's not for me okay so I've just come out of the doctors which was a bit of a wait uh, because I wasn't on the list of being seen today but I'll tell you all about that in a minute so I'm just going to pop into the post office and pick up all my parcel from the US. Oh, here we go. Delivery office, Royal Mail. Right, okay, so just got out of the doctors. Uh, I've got a few more dressings, but it's bearing up really well. It's hardly even noticeable on my foot now. So uh, she's taken a swab because there's one little area that's not healing. It's very minute um, and it's quite warm around the area. So she's taken a swab to see if there's any kind of infection. But other than that, it looks fantastic. Uh, right, on to other things. I've just been to the post office to pick up my package from um, package from America. Bastards, I had to pay a customs fee. And I was just looking at this bit of paper on it about the charge. And it says customs charges are applied to imports into the EU with a value over £15 for VAT. Does that mean that if for everything that you import, if the value is more than 15 quid, you've got to fucking pay taxes? That's a lot of bollocks. And I'll tell you what, it is also a lot of bollocks. I don't know if you can see down here, but it says um, import duty naught, excise, excise duty naught, tax £7.20, and then underneath the bottom there, Royal Mail handling charge, eight quid. You cheeky bastards. 
So uh, £15.20 had to pay for that. Uh, thankfully, my buddy over in the US paid the uh, the fee. I don't know what... I mean, it's not worth that much. It's only declared $26. I suppose it is because it's over the 15. So that would be about, about 20 quid. But still, 20 quid is fucking shit all, isn't it? Uh, and I send shit loads of stuff aboard and it never gets taxed. Anyway, I'm happy I've got it. I'm happy I've got it. I'll show you what it is. I'll do a little unboxing a little bit later on. So, yes, we'll do a little unboxing later on when I've got something to open it with. Um, I think right now I need to get a coffee, a cappuccino. I haven't had a cappuccino at all today and I need to get my cappuccino now I was really enjoying I was really enjoying that coconut milk oh shit I can't see now <laughs> I was really enjoying that coconut milk from Nando's uh, and I asked at McDonald's the other day and they don't do it they just do I think just do regular milk so uh, I'm gonna have to have a regular milk cappuccino bum em. bugger it so anyway it's a cappuccino so i'll be happy about that so let's bugger off to mcdonald's and then we'll flip down to westwood class for the umpteenth time this week and um get some more big sleeves oh yeah i forgot to tell you to know we're in the waiting room now when i got there um i was booked in for nine o'clock this morning and I was kind of like wondering like the last day because I always get a text reminder where my next appointment is. I didn't get a reminder, so I went to the desk and she goes, well, I've got a James Bowman, I haven't got a Paul Bowman. Um, and I said, well, is the, have, have you even got a, oh, I think I've thrown it on the floor now, but it's a um, card that the nurse wrote out. I suppose she forgot to book it in. So she said, don't worry about it, we'll, we'll get you in anyway. So I had about a 40 minute wait, but at least I got it seen too. So anyway, all ended well in the end. So let's stop waffling on <laughs> and go get my cappuccino. <laughs> and I'll see you down in Westwood class in a little minute. All of the on the menu. Do you know what? All this shit that's up here, it does look very nice. Uh, and it is very tasty, but I don't really miss it. I love what I eat on Weight Watchers, so I'm just, I'm really not bothered, which is a good thing. One eternity later. Another good old sunny day here in Westwood Cross. <gasps> lovely, lovely sunny weather. Let's pop in there, shall we? Let's go and grab these big sleeves. Hopefully they've still got them. Look them all. Loads. Brilliant. So, one, two, three, four, five. Fabulous. And there's still loads left. Well, four left, but I expect they'll replenish those. Okay, and we're at half price ones. So, blimey, there's a lot of train spottings left. So, I need. I need. Oh! The last Lion King. And the last Thor Ragnarok. Uh, it's got the cellophane ripped on there, but that looks good. Not damaged. So really we've got lots of blue planets. Some Guardians. Quite a few Valerians. E.T. with a 4K. And that's not bad for £12.50 for 4K ET. Brilliant. Okay, we're in Tesco's, but uh, they've got all the Black Panthers. But look at all these 4Ks, but the gorgeous 4K cover. But look at this. Oh, what a, such a shame. That's what happens with these trying to push them in these 
tight lit areas. That's why the Sainsbury's ones are best with the uh, plastic cases. Oh, okay, so we're out of Tesco's. Loads of Black Panther big sleeves. Still four left in there, which I'm sure they'll replenish more. So if anybody's having problems getting hold of the Black Panther big sleeve, knock me up. Pardon? <laughs> Send me a private message. I might be able to grab one for you. So what did we get in there? So we've got four, uh, we've got five big sleeves. Plus the eight I've already got. I'm spitting all over the place here. So that's 13 Black Panther big sleeves. That's going to give me some club points. Awesome. So probably one of the next big Blu-ray releases or 4K releases, I'll pick up for a quid. Nice. Lucky with the greatest showman I picked up the 4K for two quid. Bargain. So anyway, um, this is my lunch today. Well, I've had this before, which is really nice. It's a Tesco chicken, broccoli, almond and cashew nut salad. Oh, and I've looked at the old Weight Watchers and it's nine points, so it's not as much as I would normally have, but um, yeah, I've got a load of points to have today. Plus also, I thought I'd pick up another packet of pot chips. I like getting all this kind of stuff when I'm out and about, because you don't, you can't really just pop into a restaurant. Uh, and this is smoky bacon flavour, 99 calories, so that's good. Uh, and I was trying to look for my flavoured water, but they didn't have any, not in the fridge anyway, so I got me exotic mango diet coke, no sugar, no calories, so that's good. Now, it's, this Sunday is Father's Day, and I thought, I don't normally buy stuff in supermarkets, not the cards, because the cards are usually quite expensive, and I usually go to card fair because I'm a cheap bastard and pick up a card for about 90p or something. But I thought I saw this one, I thought I've got to get it for my dad. Two quid. Happy Father's Day, Dad. What's it say? You're talented, handsome, and clever, cultured. And you'll believe thick in anything. <laughs> He'll love that. He loves Mrs. Brown's boys. So that'd be good. So that's the card. That was two quid in Tesco's. So a little bit more than I normally spend on a card, but he's worth it. And also I've got my nice box of celebration chocolates because they'll be gone in 10 minutes. Brilliant. So that's that. Uh, so after I eat my lunch and um, my ridges, pop chips and ridges and my cork, where should we go? Uh, it's still not even lunchtime yet. It's only like 20 to 12, so it's quite a lot. Um, just wondering if to go. Maybe we'll try. Maybe we'll try the B and M down here because I haven't been to the B and M for a little while. Go and have a look. See if there's. A, you know, there might be some new pop chips. Pop chips. Pop vinyls. <laughs> I got pop chips on the head. Yeah, maybe there's some new pop vinyl figures down there, some cheap ones for less than a less than a fiver, usually four ninety nine. Um, and I'm just contemplating whether or not shall we go to Margate? Then a Margate. Um, I don't know what shops Margate Town Centre's got. It's been such a long time since I've been there. Um, oh, in the summer we must go to Dreamland. Amusement park. Yeah. Yeah, I might do that actually for a little day out, out and about her. Be nice if Lulu and Claire came with us. Oh. Uh, yeah, day out. That'd be nice. I'll, I'll knock, I was going to say, I'll knock them up. I don't think so. I'll tap them up and see if they want to, see if they want to do it sometime in the summer. Down by the seaside. Oh, I do remember the old days. When I was a kid, going to Margate with me folks, half pe the, the arcade along the pier, half penny, half penny. Did we used to call them? Half? Yeah, half p, half p machines, and penny machines, and all the arcades all along the seafront, playing games, playing the, uh, you know, the knockdown, the the arms that go down that knock the coins, putting pennies in, two p's in. Oh, they were great days. Great days. 
don't think there's many arcades along the seafront now because nobody bothers. Or they might have bought, bought a few back because of Dreamland. So it's either Margate or pop into Canterbury. Uh, if we pop to Canterbury, then we've got a larger HMV store. Plus we've got quite a big Poundland pound and also CEX. Oh, choices, choices. And I don't think we can do two. Anyway, I'll make me mind up and it'll be a surprise when we get there. So let me scoff me salad. Well, not scoff me salad because you shouldn't bolt your food. <laughs> let me eat me, me, me snack um, and then we'll get on the road uh, and I'll uh, see you down in B&M in a minute. Okay, so we're down here at B&M. It's on the top of my finger. <laughs> so let's pop in there and have a look, see if they've got any pop. They all look like they're the, more or less the same type though. Uh, $4.99, uh, but we've got Scarlet Witch and Finn, Agent 13, War Machine, so the same as what was in the other store. And also Niam Num, or Nime Num. Yeah, so nothing new in there. We've got some nice big Transformers figures as well, uh, although that looks a bit cheaply plastically made for 9.99 and those little tiny marvel figures plus the hulk buster as well for 19.99 so nothing new really a lot of it's the same stuff that's been in there for weeks and weeks or even months you know the same sort of like double packs that type of thing Well, those are a couple of extra arrow figures which weren't here before. So you've got Oliver Queen there, Arrow Season Ooh, 3. It is a staff announcement. Can I get someone from the shop floor to till free, please? Thank you. No. And Black Canary as well, so a few extra ones. And they're uh, 7 dollars Plus also some of the Star Wars ones. So you've got the Rogue One, the U Wing Fighter. That's a new one. Uh, plus the Rebel Blockade Runner as well. So uh, Lulu and Claire bought me lots of these for Christmas. So you never know, there might be a few more ones on the list this year. Okay, so there wasn't anything interesting picking up in there. Uh, there was a few more pops than the other stores that I've been to, but they're all the same ones, game ones, and duplicates of like Niam Num and. Nine num, niem num, nine num, whatever. The fishy looking bloke from Jedi, um, and and a few others. But okay, so it's midweek, isn't it? It's Wednesday, right? I'm going to get my midweek rant out of the way now. So be warned. Uh, B and M, you've got. Oh, I don't fucking believe this. All the spaces in the car park and someone comes and parks right next to me. So you've got all these, yeah, what was I saying? Okay, so you've got four checkouts, okay. Two of the checkouts are being used, so occupied. You know, they're doing all the scanning and all that kind of shit. The other two have got those gantries, you know, those like elasticated cable things to stop people going through them. And there's no other way out. So if you want to get out, if you don't buy anything and you want to get out, you've got to go squeeze through where people are actually checking out. And both of those aisles had people with trolleys. I had to fucking wait until people had finished scanning their stuff and paying for it before I could get out of the shop. No, that's bollocks. That's bollocks. For God's sake, just have one open so that you can get out if you don't buy anything. Oh dear me. I think it must be just be this one because the one in Dover, there's always one or two little gantries open where you can get through. So I don't know, maybe it's just, they've had too much thieving down here. Anyways, so that's my little midweek rant out of the way and pushed to one side so now we can get on with the more exciting stuff. 
Oh dear me. Right, okay, so we're done down here. So now the choice is either Margate or Canterbury. Well, I shall see you in a little while wherever we turn up. So, see you in a little while. A few inches later. Okay, so we've arrived at our destination. Can you guess where we are? It's quite dark, so I'm in an underground car park. Well, overground car park. Uh, let me give you a clue. Um, they've got a Marlowe Theatre and a cathedral. That's right, we're in Margate. <laughs> no, we're not, we're in Canterbury. Uh, and from what I've seen coming round the outside of the city, it looks like, town-wise, the French hordes are out. So we've got, looks like loads of French students and teenagers and all that kind of stuff doing sightseeing as it's nice and warm and sunny. So I shall just have to say to them, good morning. I was just pissing by looking for my bloy rise. <laughs> anyway, so let's get out of the car, get into the city, um, and we'll have a look around and see what we can find. First, I've got to go away. Okay, first stop. HMV. So let's go and have a look down there and see what they've got in there. So let's go and have a look in Poundland and CX and see what they've got up there. Okay, let's pop in here and see if they've got any DVDs and Blu-rays. You never know. They've got a couple of Blu-rays in here. Trumbo. Good boy. Cranston. Was this I Believe in Miracles? And The Ugly Truth. Plus we've got some Fringe, Medium, Torchwoods. Uh, Seasons of House, The Good Wife. So lots of box sets. Lots of box sets down here as well, 24. This huge Midsummer Murders collection. I've got lots of box sets up the top here. Lots of DVDs as well. Uh, the in between is two, one pound 99. There's nothing, uh, nothing that sticks out. They're all pretty much generic. Although this is quite, I remember having this when this was first released. Gladiator box set, £1.99, I think I probably paid about 25 30 quid for it. It's a shame it's a bit battered and torn, otherwise I might have been interested in buying that. Plus also you've got all the Twilight movies there as well. And Mummy Returns, Star Trek for £1.49. 
and Kingdom of the Crystal Skull, 199 as well. Okay, so we've got lots of stalls all the way down, so we're going to have a look at some more of them in a minute. But first of all, we are going to pop in Poundland and see if there's any Blu-rays in there. Okay, so this is looking promising. Uh, lots of DVDs, there are some Blu-rays. Oh, let's have a look, see what we've got. Uh, Hall Pass, I uh, haven't seen that. Underworld Evolution, Ride Along. That's supposed to be really funny. Spider-Man, Pixels, Machine Gun Preacher. Don't think I'll pick that one up already yet. New Moon Carnage, which I'm not familiar with that. Rupture. Uh, the Lucky One, Vengeance. So a lot of the ones that are in the other stores as well, but some new ones as well. Big Mum's House too. This is where I leave you. In the forest, okay. Zoolander number two, wow. And blank. Okay, so we're out of Canterbury. I hope you enjoyed that little walkabout. All sorts of different places. Um, I did pick some Blu-rays up from Poundland. Yes, so another lot of another lot of Blu-rays for the Poundland bin. God, this Poundland bin thing's gonna be is gonna be running for years to come. We can only hope. Anyway, so um, I think that's about it for Canterbury. So I'm going to scoot off out of here and um, I'll see you when I get home and then I'll show you what I picked up today. And also we do that box un uh, unboxing from the US of A and I'll show you what I've got in there. So see you at home. Right, okay, back from Canterbury. Um, I'm going to show you what I got. So first of all, we'll start with the Blu-rays. So, I picked up three Blu-rays. And uh, let's start with this one. Uh, Ride Along. Remember seeing the trailer for that? Looks absolutely hilarious. Quite a while ago, I believe. Ice Cube and Kevin Hart. Uh, when was it? 2014. So, not really that long ago. But, uh, yeah, so that's pretty good. Two, something about two high school security guards. So if you've seen that, let me know if it's a, if it's any good. Brilliant. And next one, I'm pretty sure I didn't buy this one. I'm sure I haven't seen in Poundland before. Machine Gun Preacher with Gerald Butler, which looks like it's a bit of a uh, what an African setting. Former drug dealing criminal who undergoes an astonishing transformation and finds his unexpected calling as a saviour of hundreds of kidnapped and orphaned children in war torn Sudan. Okay, so that looks good. Brilliant. Okay. And third one, which was like, I don't know if to buy this or not, but it's got some good cast in it, but I thought for a quid, you, see, you can either go right or you can go wrong. This is where I leave you. Yeah, I've never heard of it either. Uh, but it's got Jason Bateman, Tina Fey, Adam Driver, Rose Byrne, Catherine Hahn, Connie Britton, Timothy Oliphant, Dax Shepard, whoever that is, and Jane Fonda. So that looks pretty good. Bit of a compelling and hilarious performance, it says. And that's Good Housekeeping magazine. <laughs> but uh, it'll be worth a laugh. So that is my three pickups. And now we get on to the box. Okay, yes, so on to the box. Now, I haven't got a knife. I mean, who goes out in a car with a knife? 
probably everybody in London. So let's just grab hold of, I don't know, a key, some kind of key, and I'll very carefully slice it open. Because I'm sure I can get through the cellar tape. Right, okay, so managed to get through the box. We'll go in through the bottom. And I'm pretty sure I know what this is, but uh, something rattling about inside as well. So, oh, oh, this is from my chap in the US. Oh, wow, he's, looks like he's thrown some extras in. Right, okay, so here's my Blu-ray. I don't think it'll go in the machine like that. <laughs> <laughs> so, right, hold on one moment because I've got to use a key to open that. Right, so we are through the first layer of the bubble wrap. Oh, here we go. Oh, really well done up. Nice one, mate. Wrappings and wrappings and wrappings. <laughs> it's like the bubble, it's like the bubble wrap marathon. <gasps> oh. Annihilation on 4K <gasps> only at Best Buy. Exclusive 4K Ultra HD Blu ray. Offer valid from the 29th of May to the 29th of October. So I suppose October, they just get rid of them all. Wow, fantastic. I love that cover. Look at that cover, how shiny that is. But because it's a US one, it's in the thinner case, which is really nice. It's been a long time since I've had a, a Blu-ray in, in a thinner case. Oh, that's a fantastic one. Thank you very much for sending that over, mate. And it's mint, perfect, absolutely mint. Yeah, awesome. Brilliant, I can't wait to see that again, especially on, on the disc this time. Um, oh, this, this. Michael, you shouldn't have. What have we got in here? It's Funko socks, I think. Funko socks. <laughs> What? I suppose I had to get something Funko today. I didn't get any pops, did I? Let's have a look, shall we? Yeah, old Batman. <laughs> Fantastic. Yeah, I think I can get my feet in them. Brilliant. Oh, yes. Fabulous little suckies. Right, what else have we got in here? So we've got some other stuff in here as well. Uh, we got a funk. Is that, what is that? That's Predator, isn't it? I'm pretty sure that's Predator. Should we open it up and have a look, see what it is? Oh, it's like Christmas. Oh. Oh, yeah, look. Oh. So it's like a badge type of thing. Oh, plastic. Sealed plastic. And um, a little key ring. A predator keyring. Fantastic. 
Oh, and I like that. That's really nice. So I can just sort of like... I'm at a press meeting now, and I can go and, and find the predator and kick Arnie's ass. Fantastic. I'm not going to put the socks on. <laughs> not at the moment, anyway. Brilliant. Uh, what else have we got in here? And... Pim Technologies. Oh, Ant-Man. Pim Technologies. What's that then? Ages 4 plus. Product and colours may vary. It says Hasbro. I don't know what it is. But there's only one way to find out, isn't there? Open it, you dumb boy. Let's see. Ooh, what is that in there? Oh, oh my god, that's fantastic. Is that a life size? I don't know if I can sort of like block that up. Is that life size Ant Man? Yeah, he must be life size. I mean, he's only what? He's less than a centimeter tall. Brilliant. Oh, that's fantastic. God, I hope I don't lose it. <laughs> it's so small. Size isn't everything. Oh, that's what Lou and Claire kept telling me. <laughs> okay, fantastic. What else have we got in here? Oh, and we've got webbed threads. Spider-Man Homecoming. Congratulations, you have received a trading card with pieces of Marvel Spider-Man Homecoming memorabilia. The memorabilia has been certified to us as having been part of the production of Marvel's Spider-Man Homecoming movie. Enjoy your memorabilia card. What? Webbed threads. That looks fucking brilliant. Wow. That's brilliant. Fantastic. And... Oh... What? Webbed threads. What's well, been part of it? Used in part of the movie? That's what it says. And also, Thor Ragnarok, Grandmaster, and Bruce Banner. It looks like he's got part of their costumes. Like that one's Jeff Goldblum's. And that looks like the suit of Bruce Banner in their fabric. And this one, it's got a little... It says, congratulations, you have received a trading card with pieces of Marvel's Thor Ragnarok memorabilia. The memorabilia has been certified to us as having been part of the production of Marvel's Thor Ragnarok movie. Enjoy your memorabilia card. Wow. That's brilliant. I love those. They're fantastic. Brilliant, thank you very much. Uh, oh yeah, well, there's a little note. Because I opened the box from the bottom, the note was at the top. <laughs> Thanks for your help. I help out Michael with getting a load of steel books and big sleeves. Um, in fact, he's got about, probably about 15 big sleeves I've got to ship over. That's, shit's gonna be heavy. <laughs> but we're gonna ship it by UPS. So, um, it's guaranteed to get there and tracked and everything like that. Fantastic. I love all that. That's brilliant. Thank you very much for that, mate. And also, brilliant. Thanks for sending that over. Awesome. Okay, I'm going to put me little multi-pass. Multi-pass. Back in the box now. Put the bunny back in the box. Uh, And I don't want this, right, let's move the box. I don't want this to get damaged in any way, so I'm gonna wrap it back up in some bubble wrap. Ah, so I'll put that back, I'll put that back in the box as well. Plus the Blu-rays as well. 
And there we are, brilliant. Fantastic. Thanks again, Michael. Really appreciate it. Fantastic box. Okay, so I think that's about it, folks. Um, I can't cut open anything else because I need my key to start the car. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. Give it a thumbs up. Um, don't forget to subscribe. Stick down in the comments anything you want, where you ask me questions or ask any, any sort of shit. Um, and I'll see you all on the next video. Bye, everyone.